Hello there everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can work with dates and times using Java. This serves as more of an introduction. We can work with local dates, times, date times, and UTC timestamps. Let's get the date right now using local date. We will create an object of local date. Let's name this date for short. Equals access the class of local date. Call the now method. If I was to output our date object, we'll print our date. That's going to give you the current date, whatever it is right now. I'm filming this video December 17th, 2024. Post the date that you're watching this in the comment section down below. That is local date. There's a local time to get the time. Let's replace date with time, local time dot now. And rename this as time because that's more appropriate. Print the time. Currently, the time for me is a little after 9 a.m. 9 hours, 29 minutes, 52 seconds, and a bunch of milliseconds. To retrieve both the date and the time, you can use date time. Local date time. Local date time dot now method. Print the current date time. And currently for me, it is December 17th, 2024, at about 9.30 in the morning. You can also use UTC time. That's a little different. We will create an instant object. Instant, instant, equals, access the class of instant, called the now method. And print our instant object. Which will give us the current date and time in UTC. December 17th, 2024. In UTC time, I think that's 3 p.m. It's in military time. That's how to get either the current date, time, date time, or UTC timestamp. When you output the current date and or time, it's kind of ugly and hard to read. Well, we can write a custom format to display our date time. Here's how. Here we'll create a custom format for our date time. We will need the current date time local date time we will name this date time equals access the class of local date time called the now method then we'll need to create a formatter object date time formatter we'll name this formatter equals date time formatter i'm just going to copy it call the of pattern method and then we're going to pass on a string. Let me move the cursor so you can see this. Within the string, we will write pattern letters. What is the pattern in which we would like to display our date and our time? If you go to the official Java documentation, there's an extensive list. Here's a few beginner friendly ones. For the day, type two Ds, dash for the month, two capital M's, for the year, dash Y, 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 four Y's. This will display the day, the month, and the year. I'm an American, so we display the month first, followed by the day. So I'm going to switch this around, but you can keep it as it originally was if you prefer. So that's how to display the date in that format. Month, day, year. Now for the time, you can do the following. For hours, do two capital H's, colon, minutes is two lowercase m's, colon, then for seconds, it's two lowercase s's. That is a good pattern. We will create a new string named new date time equals take our current date time. It's an object Call the format method. We are going to pass in our formatter to format our date time to this pattern. Once we have our new date time, we're going to print it. Let's output our new date time and it should be in that format. Yeah, that looks pretty good. December 17th, 2024, about nine in the morning, 9.30, at least for me. Instead of getting the time and date right now, we can create a custom date time object. Here's how. So we'll start with a local date. Local date, I'll name this object date, equals local date, we're accessing the class statically, We'll call the of method. Depending on the date you would like to create, we'll pass them in as arguments. 
Let's say I would like to pick Christmas of 2024. The first argument corresponds to the year. I will pick 2024. The next is for the month, 12 meaning December. Then the 25th, 25th of December, I'll type in 25. All right, just to test it, I'm going to output it. Let's print our date. The year is 2024, December 25th. You can also use date time. Let's switch local date to local date time. We need a few more arguments. So let's say noon on Christmas day, that would be 12. For the minutes, zero. For the seconds, zero. Then let's print this again. Let's output our date. Well, technically it should be date time, but that still makes sense. Here's our date time. December 25th, 2024 at noon, 12 p.m. You can also compare dates too. Let's copy the snippet of code, paste it, rename the first date as date one, the second date as date two. For the second date, let's set that to New Year's Day, 2025. The month will be January, the 1st of January. At midnight, that would be zero. Let's print date one and then date two. So we have Christmas, December 25th, 2024, and New Year's Day, January 1st, 2025. All right, now to compare dates, we can use the following. We'll use an if statement. Let's check if date one, call the is before method, dates have a built-in is before method, pass in date two, is date one before date two, and that is true. Let's output date one, plus a string of is earlier than plus date two. Let's check that. Our first date, Christmas, is earlier than New Year's, our second date. Else if date one, let's just copy this, date one is after date two, then we'll output something different. Date one is later than date two. So let's change date one to be January 2nd of 2025. The 2nd of January is later than New Year's Day, our second date. You can also check if they're equal. Let's add else if, let me scroll down, date one, is equal to date two. And then we'll say that they're equal. Date one is equal to date two. Let's set these to be the same. New Year's Day at midnight. New Year's Day at midnight is equal to New Year's Day at midnight. This could be good for some sort of alarm clock checking to see if two date times are equal. All right, everybody, so that is an introduction to working with dates and times using Java.